Well, taking a live look right now, Paycor Stadium. There's what it's going to be all about this weekend. Cincinnati welcoming Taylor Swift in just three days for the first of two nights. Thousands will be inside and outside the stadium for the performance, and some will even be taking the music in from the river. So, yeah, the Ohio River course has great views of the stadium and if the recent passes in the indication hundreds of ticket list Taylor Swift fans may decide to have a seat on the water and that's not a bad backup plan WLWT News 5 Todd Dykes live along the Ohio River with more and Todd. Yeah, actually, Mike, you know, 10 days ago, the pop superstar played the second of two shows upriver in Pittsburgh and lots of Swifties with boats uh, caught the shows there on a stretch of the Ohio that has similarities, not all similarities, but some similarities to the same river that runs through our region. At Pirates Cove Bar and Grill, Malia Dotson is surrounded by boats, which seem awfully tempting since she's a self-avowed Taylor Swift fan. I wish I could be there, but I do have to work and I couldn't get a ticket. My dad's friend even offered me his boat for the weekend to go out. While Dotson won't be on the water this weekend, U.S. Coast Guard Chief Petty Officer Mike Callanan thinks plenty of other people will be. Based on uh, previous concerts they had in uh, Pittsburgh, which has a similar waterfront to us, uh, they had a large uh, recreational boater turnout in the vicinity of their stadium. Callanan says more than 200 boaters a night floated to the sounds of Swift's two sold out shows at the home of the Steelers a little more than a week ago. The big difference here though is uh, Pittsburgh has a designated anchorage area right outside the stadium. So boats can go right up, anchor. Kellanan says that's not the case on the water outside Paycor Stadium. And he says the Coast Guard is not going to shut down the shipping lane that's close to the Cincinnati side of the river. We have notified all the tug and barge companies in the area, but we can't prevent them from moving the product they need to move. Back at Pirates Cove at Four Seasons Marina, workers are confident boaters who choose to see Swift from the water will be safe and turn out in droves. We're almost going to be like doubling our staff. Um, we intend on having a an influx of customers. I think that all around, everyone on the boats are going to have just as much fun as if you were inside. And again, there could be a mix of tugboats, barges, and Taylor Swift fans on the water this weekend. River traffic going to be operating as usual, and that also means a no wake zone for recreational boaters between the bridges from dusk to dawn. Reporting live tonight, Todd Dykes, WWT News 5. All right, Todd.